Push. I want to make a card for my friend. On the computer. Can you help me understand this keyboard? Let's go to the computer class where ma'am will be explaining about the keyboard today. Today, I will talk about input devices. Let me explain input by an example. The plant intakes water and oxygen. Taking in is called input. So, water and oxygen are inputs for the plant. Input devices allow us to give information and data to the computer. Can you tell me some input devices used in a computer? Yes ma'am. Input is usually given by clicking the mouse or typing on the keyboard. Correct. These are the most commonly used input devices. Now we will learn about keyboard. The keyboard is one of the most important devices used in the computer. This device helps the user to input data to the computer. Look at this keyboard here. In most cases, the layout of a keyboard is similar to that of a traditional typewriter. However, there are some differences like extra keys present in a keyboard that provide additional helpful features. The most commonly used keyboard is the PC keyboard with a total of 104 keys. Windows-based laptop keyboards has 86 keys and the Apple laptop keyboard has 78 keys. Keyboards come in other sizes also like with 84 keys, 101 or 102 keys. There are mainly two types of keys on the keyboard. Alphabet keys and number keys. The alphabet keys are used to type in capital and small English alphabet letters. There are 26 alphabet keys from A to Z. When you type using alphabet keys, it writes small English letters. To write capital English letters, you can either press shift key along with the letter key or you can use the caps lock. For example, shift plus small a gives capital A. And after pressing caps lock, when we type any letter, it will be capitalized. Number keys are used to type numbers. The number keys consist of numbers from 0 to 9. Usually, the keyboard contains two set of number keys. One is present on the top row of the keyboard. The other set is present on the right hand side of the keyboard. The right set of number keys of the keyboard is also known as the numeric keypad. Numeric keypad is used to enter numeric data and control cursor movement. It is laid out in the same configuration that is used by calculators. There are other types of keys like symbol keys, special function keys, etc present on the keyboard. Let us understand them briefly. We will learn about them in detail in the next class. Symbol keys have special signs and symbols. Symbol keys such as backslash, comma, colon, double quotes, single quote, lesser than and greater than, full stop are placed to the right of the letter keys. Some symbol keys are placed over the numbers on the number keys, such as exclamation, at the rate, hash, dollar, percentage, asterisk, etc. As you can see, there are some keys on the keyboard which have two symbols and some have a number and a symbol on it. To type the upper symbol, you need to press and hold the shift key 
along with the symbol or number key. For example, shift plus one gives exclamation. Shift plus comma gives less than. Okay kids, can you tell me what symbol will you get by pressing the number five and shift key? Yes, ma'am. We will get the percentage symbol. Correct. Let us now look at the special keys. The special keys are used to perform special functions. The special keys on the keyboard are caps lock, num lock, backspace, delete, enter, tab, escape, shift key, control, alt, function keys, arrow keys. Let us see the functionality of these special keys. The top row of the keyboard contains 12 function keys marked from F1 to F12. Every function key has a unique role and meaning. For example, pressing F1 key opens the help of the application you're using. Let us see the functionality of some special keys like spacebar, caps lock key and enter key. Space bar key is used to give space between words. By pressing the space bar key once a single space is inserted. Caps lock enables to write the alphabets in capital letter. While typing, if you tap on the enter key, it will drop the cursor down to the next line. There are two enter keys on one keyboard. This set of four keys is called arrow keys or cursor keys. Arrow keys are used to move the cursor in any direction on the computer screen. The four arrow keys are up, down, left and right. Before we move to the next class, you should practice typing the following line on your keyboard. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This sentence contains all the letters of the alphabet. The phrase is commonly used to practice on typewriters and computer keyboards. For more such interesting videos, please subscribe to our channel Head Start Learning.